We spoke before about diffusion and we said it's the movement of particles from an area of high concentration to an area of lower concentration. Uh, this is we call it diffusion. Now we're going to look at osmosis. Osmosis is also diffusion but between liquids. Uh, it is diffusion, osmosis is the diffusion of particles, liquid, let's say water, from a dilute solution, dilute solution to a concentrated, concentrated solution so is it the opposite of diffusion no actually it is the same it is from dilute to concentrated but a dilute solution has higher concentration high high concentration of water and the concentrated solution has low concentration low concentration of water so if you look at this side this is a dilute solution look how much water it has inside of us so much water and less sugar these are sugar let's say they are sugar and these are uh, ha have more this concentrated solution has more sugar and less water so the water will diffuse from this side to this side of the solution from here to here through this membrane it is a, a, per, per, a partially permeable membrane it allows only water does not allow sugar to diffuse it will allow water so this membrane will allow the movement of these substances here we're going to have a better diagram just to say how that happens how we have dilute solution dilute and this is the concentrated concentrated solution now this is the membrane look the particles of water will move from this solution to this now the level of this solution will increase the water in this solution will increase so how did particles diffuse by this membrane it allows water does not allow sugar or other solute uh, dissolved substances and this is diffusion uh, we call it osmosis now the effect of osmosis on plant cell uh, if you have high concentration of water out outside of the cell outside high concentration high concentration of water now what happens this water will diffuse into the cell they will just pass into the cell and now what happens to the cell when this water molecules pass they will diffuse inside of the cell and the cell will swell up it will be bigger because uh, the water enter to, uh, to inside of it now we look at another uh, another scenario here you have high concentration of water inside of the cell and low concentration of water outside of the cell maybe you have uh, outside of the cell a concentrated solution you have a concentrated solution uh, which does not have much water so there is water inside of the cell more than outside of the cell what happens to the water from inside of the cell they will diffuse out they will go to out of the cell like they will just then the cell will shrink the cell will be so small because it lost too much water this water all diffused to outside of the cell and the cell became smaller um, this is how it's going to be look this cell let's say red blood cell if it loses too much water it's going to shrink like this if it gets taken much much water is going to uh, swell up and then it is going to burst and the cell will die sure so um we we saw how uh, how dangerous it is to have much water inside of the cell or to lose too much water inside of the cell so how cells manage to have the same concentration so they do not lose too much water uh, not to 
take in much water how can they manage to do that they have they are surrounded by uh, by tissue fluid this tissue fluid is like solution here it has uh, about the same concentration of the solution inside of the cell so if you have out out the concentration like inside of the cell now the cell will not lose too much water will not gain too much water because it has uh, about the same concentration in and out this concentration is regulated and monitored by the blood concentration and the brain just monitor it and adjusted by the kidneys so this is how the cell managed not to take in too much water or to lose too much water because we saw how that how uh, dangerous that can be for an animal cell now we're going to look at the effect of osmosis on plant cell plant cell uh, have cell wall cell wall so they can uh, is not elastic is not it cannot be stretched like plant cell it cannot burst or do some uh, damage the cell just uh, explode like that so uh, this cell wall is like uh, a little bit firm it it, uh, it will not burst so what happens if the cell is surrounded it has a uh, high concentration of water outside of the cell high concentration out of water this water will just pass by osmosis inside of the cell and the vacuole okay we said the cell wall is uh, just not selective it allows everything and here we have the cell membrane it is uh, selective but it will allow water molecules to pass in now the vacuole will be larger look the vacuole will expand the, the, the effect of osmosis on the plant cell, it will have this water because you have lots of water inside of this vacuole. It will make pressure. This pressure is going to push against the cell membrane and cell wall. Then the, the, the plant cell is going to be like firm and rigid and the plant overall is going to be supported. But if this cell plant cell is surrounded by a sol concentrated solution which has low concentration of water now maybe you place a plant cell in a solution full of salt or sugar or whatever and just to little water outside so this is water water okay now this this is a concentrated solution here it is dilute solution has high concentration of water and this has low concentration low of water now what happened to the cell we said the the water will pass from uh, high concentration to low inside of the cell it has high concentration out low concentration of water so the water will just pass will go out of the cell out of this va vacuole okay to out of the cell now look how the cell will just inside of it is going to lose that pressure made by the water then the plant how is going to happen the plant look here for this cell you have a plant is going to be supported like this firm and rigid erected but this one is going to uh, be limped this is a plant okay and this is the leaf look this is just going to be like the dying so the stem and uh, the the leaves will not be supported here i'm going to show you so a photo about this one look this this plant lost too much water lost now it uh, wilt and it limbed it is just about to die but this plant take uh, token much water so it is erected and it is supported the stem and the leaves are supported because there is much pressure built by the water inside of the cell here look the water pushes 
the inside of the cell so it gives this pressure which supports the plant and the leaves and this one lost the water so the cell doesn't have that much pressure so the the these will just wilt and maybe eventually will die and that is it about osmosis and the effect of osmosis on plants and animal cell uh, until the next video ciao